everyone. Um, I am going to give you a video on a survival guide um, to, uh, I guess, being able to handle the aftermath of getting your wisdom teeth taken out or pretty much any major dental procedure or getting any teeth pulled where you're not going to be able to eat for weeks and you're going to be in a lot of pain. So this is what it's going to be. This is my dog, Captain. He's making his cameo. If you sit, I'll give you a biscuit. You can eat it and then I will start continuing with the video. Okay, bye-bye. All right. So here we go. Uh, hopefully the lighting's okay on this. I'm filming this from my phone. Um, all right, so pretty much this is the spread. I just want to preface this by saying that none of this food I'm trying to condone as healthy. Some of it's healthy, some of it's not healthy. What you have to remember after you get your teeth pulled, you're probably going to be in a lot of pain and you're going to be miserable. You're not going to be able to chew pretty much anything, so you can't be too picky about what you eat. Well, if you want to eat healthy, go ahead. That's fine. I just kind of do whatever I can, eat whatever I can that I don't have to chew. And trust me, you're going to be in so much pain that you probably won't even want to eat. So anyway, um, before you go get your teeth pulled, you want to go ahead and do your grocery shopping beforehand, like maybe a couple days before, because you're going to be in pain and you won't want to go grocery shopping. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the left and work my way right. Uh, you're going to need salt sea salt or pretty much any kind of salt because uh, the dentist is going to want you to do uh, salt water gargles because it'll help you. Um, and I got some rice pudding. Um, I have two boxes of instant potatoes. This is probably what I eat the most because it's really soft and really easy to swallow without chewing. I have baby food. I have this. Um, I have this, so I've never had these before, um, so I guess I'll see how they do. Um, this is very important, so you'll probably want to get some soups, except you need to have a blender handy because you're not going to be able to chew these, so it's kind of gross, but you're going to want to run these soups through the blender, and it actually tastes decent if you have the pureed soups with a side of mashed potatoes, and it's almost like sort of like human food. It's not, but it's it'll kind of get you through the couple of weeks it takes you to heal. Um, easy math. Once you start to heal and feel better, I would say probably after about two to three weeks, you can start adding in some easy math into your um, instant potatoes. And they're really soft, so you don't have to chew them too much. You can kind of gulp them down. Um, but it'll probably be like one of the first semi-solid foods that you're eating is pasta. Um, also, I forgot about this. I never buy this stuff because it's so unhealthy for you, but, uh, potatoes, plain potatoes gets really boring and, you know, with butter and stuff, it just gets really boring. So I add some, a little bit of cheesy dip and it just gives it a little extra flavor. And aside from getting my teeth taken out, I never eat this stuff because that stuff is like bad for you. But anyway, uh, here's another type of soup, tomato bisque. You also want to puree this. Um... Plan is pretty good. Uh, I The first day I got my bottom wisdom teeth taken out, this is the first thing that I had. Um, and it's okay, but it does break up into little pieces and it can get stuck in the sockets, like the holes in your mouth where your teeth got taken out. So definitely from the dentist, you want to get a syringe. They will give you a syringe. You just put water in it and whenever you get food stuck in there, you just squirt it into the hole and it comes out. Um, I don't really want to give too much medical advice, so make sure you ask your dentist how to properly do it. Some dentists don't want you to use the syringe at all for the first few days, so just, um, you know, don't take my advice. Go ahead and ask your dentist, and they'll be able to tell you. Uh, next, you definitely want some good stuff to drink. So emergency, apple juice, water, tea, you know, pretty much like whatever, like just a bunch of different kinds of things to drink. Um, this is also pretty unhealthy, but definitely ice cream is probably one of the easiest things, probably one of the best things for you to eat because you have to remember your gums are going to be swollen. So if you have something cold and frozen and soft and you're eating that, it actually helps your mouth feel better and it helps like reduce the swelling. So actually ice cream is kind of good in this certain case. But the most important thing is you want to make sure 
that you get ice cream that doesn't have any chunks or pretty much any anything in it. Like it has to be plain, like vanilla ice cream. I got um, cinnamon horchata, which is basically like vanilla ice cream, plain chocolate ice cream, you know, basically something like that. Uh, applesauce is okay, plain applesauce. Um, you're gonna wanna take some medicine. This is what I use, but make sure you check with your dentist and whatever it is that works for your body, whatever they prescribe you, you wanna use that because you are gonna be in a lot of pain. Don't try to be macho like me. I was like, I don't need to take anything. I don't like to take stuff unless I feel like I'm dying. I don't want chemicals in me, but last time I got my teeth taken out, I was dying. And uh, I'm gonna go back in a few weeks and get my top wisdom teeth taken out. So I'm not looking forward to it, but this time I will be better prepared. And the next thing, you want to consider is smoothies. So I just have a few things here you can try, but you can get all different kinds of frozen fruits. So I have a pineapple, blueberries, bananas. You can actually freeze these bananas and blend them up in the blender. It'll taste really good. And I mix it with some apple juice with a little bit of water. And you make sure you puree it, like blend it really, really good. Hi, Captain. Hi, he's checking it out. Anyway, yeah, good boy. Okay. So definitely smoothies will help. And also, again, it's like a frozen thing, so it'll help soothe your gums that are like really swollen. Uh, the final thing I'm gonna recommend is anything pretty much to suck on. So cough drops. Um, here I have some like random candy, I don't know. I'm not really a candy person. I really don't like this kind of candy. But when you are in a lot of pain and Every time you eat something, it's like freaking 30 minutes to go through the whole routine of having to floss, clean out the sockets in your mouth, brush your teeth, rinse with salt water. I mean, it's like this whole ordeal. So you pretty much don't feel like actually eating anything because you don't feel like going through all of that. So the easiest thing when you're feeling really lazy is just to pop one of these in and it'll help your cravings, I guess. Um, so pretty much that's my whole spread. Just to wrap it up, I wanna say that for me, I got my two bottom ones taken out and it took me 10 days until I stopped being in pain. And um, it took me probably about, maybe like a whole month until I started eating like really like solid food again. And then it probably took about two months until my holes closed up. I really wanted to wait to start eating solid foods until my holes completely closed up because I just think that's really nasty, like getting, you know, stuff stuck in there. Like, it's pretty gross. But I was going on vacation and it was just kind of hard to do because my family and I had like lots of restaurants and outings and that kind of stuff to go to. So I just had to eat and I had to bring my syringe everywhere with me. Pretty much I had to clean my mouth out with a syringe every single time I was done eating and it's really annoying. Some days... You don't even want to eat anything because you just don't want to go through the whole cleaning process of your mouth. And luckily, I was able to lose like 20 pounds by getting my wisdom teeth taken out, which is actually kind of a good thing, believe it or not. So it has its upsides, but it is really painful. So just, you know, good luck with it all. And I hope that your recovery is a little bit easier for you than it was for me, especially now that you are fully prepared. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I will be doing another video about my getting my wisdom teeth out, that experience. So if you're interested, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you very much and talk to you guys later.